Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and it's a, the time of the year to uh, do a review of, the, of my 2016 Chevy Volt. Uh, I bought it in January in 2016. It's now three years. I have close to uh, 60,000 miles, and until we bought the uh, Tesla Model 3, this was our primary uh, trip car. So that's why we have a lot of miles in it now. It drives very little. So what I'm going to do is really give you the main parts, things that I like, the things that not so much. And I can tell you, unfortunately, it's very soon you cannot buy a, a new a 2019 Chevy Volt because GM is not going to produce them anymore. That's another story. I made a few videos about it. You can find it on my channel and many other channels if you like. But I will focus on this. So the only soon, the only Chevy Volt that you can buy is a used one, which it's absolutely a great idea, by the way. So the 2016 16 Chevy Volt was the second generation. Uh, and it has a much bigger battery, uh, 18 kilowatt hour battery, which gives you about 50 to 65 miles in the summer depending on the weather and the elevation and speed and between i would say 35 to 40 winter miles okay so this is a significant uh, drop uh, in the uh, winter uh, it will give you around 350 miles of total range between gas and and um and full electric charge uh Depending on your driving habits, you will, if you, if you let's say your, um, your average daily drive is about, let's say, 20 to 30 or 40 miles a day, you should be able to uh, fill in tank between uh, maybe four months, five months, three months, depending uh, how, what's your style. I mean, with the way I drive it now, I put gas maybe every six months, and it's a nine-gallon uh, uh, a tank which requires regular gas if you if you so it's really a very pure electric car quote unquote you will put very little gas that said the gas engine will come up if you never use the uh, if you always use electric miles the gas engine will come out and it will come out in on the following occasion when it's very cold in the morning when you warm it up and even when you drive and if you don't use the gas engine a lot, it will ask you to maintain it. Eventually, it will burn it out within a year. I, I have experienced it myself, so, so that's what will happen. Uh, in terms of the design, it's a beautiful four-seat uh, hatchback. Even the 2016 that has <coughs> a fifth seat in the middle that you can occasionally use, uh, it is a four-seater and the back seats are I would say comfortable for people no taller than 5'9". I don't want to talk about weight, but at least height. 5'8", uh, maybe, if you are 175 centimeters or so, you, sh you should be okay. I, 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 after that, I mean, I'm 6'2", 185 centimeters. I, I cannot sit in the back. I have to, you know, go like this. In the front, it's nice and comfortable. See my, 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 my baby test. You can put a baby on my head. Uh, the best part about this car that I love the most is the hatchback. It's a great hatchback. You can uh, flatten the seat in the back and put so much stuff. This car can carry a lot of stuff. Uh, I also have a universal, um, uh, a universal roof rail, and I uh, uh, and I put uh, my tool box when I go when I used to go take it to a long drive. You can take a lot of stuff in this car. It looks small but it's really very versatile and that is one of the greatest things about this car. Um, the uh, ride quality is awesome, the torque is amazing. It's a torque monster uh, and uh, you know, uh, and you really, really enjoy the acceleration. You do have a sports mode which will really, really make this car fly. Yeah, you know, sometimes I use, I use it all the time until I got a ticket, then I, <laughs> I, learned, I learned my lesson. Uh, having said that, it's a very, very fast car. Uh, if you go on a long trip and the gas engine, when the gas engine comes up, it's not a pleasant experience because when when you used to when you used to um, electric drive, any gas is going to give you the wheelies. Okay. However, even if you used to gas uh, and you drive on uh, on gas mode in here, it's very weird noises. It's inconsistent. It's 
it's just not if the one thing I don't like about this car a lot that is the um, uh, gas engine mode really really annoying and obnoxious okay so I, I can tell you that um, uh, as far as charging uh, I mean this car until 2019 which again is going to be discontinued unless they make a few this car has 3.3 uh, onboard charger which is torture I mean they takes this car on a 220 four and a half hours which which is forever okay which is forever and uh, on the 110 it will take you 16 17 hours so uh, you know and on a regular 220 if you charge at night you know in the morning it's fine but if you want to charge during the day just to get a quick charge like I do with my Nissan Leaf just takes so long it does take so long I mean the onboard charger the uh, climate heating stinks okay it takes so long to heat it's a resistive heat uh, system uh, it could be you could put the blast the heat and it's cold so or, or it can be warm it's very very inconsistent unlike the leaf which has the best 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 uh, heating and cooling system uh, not this car not this car I mean I'm it's now 36 degrees outside I'm nice and comfortable I'm wearing a jacket but um, uh, it, it, it is not as efficient and it sucks a lot of battery okay a lot of energy uh, like I said you do see a significant significant drop of, of range uh, once you have to put the uh, uh, heat the air conditioning you know it's fine it's not it's not that bad I'm not a big fan of air conditioning but it's okay it's fine it's fine the heat is really a problem it's one of the things I don't like the most so it's the heat and it is the uh, gas engine mode that's not pleasant listen other than that it's a great car I really have to tell you it's the closest to pure electric because because of the large battery you will go 70 80 some people even report 90 percent of ev mode uh, of their drive and if you need to go far away you don't have to worry about it. if you can find charging station no big deal uh, uh, that's the beauty of this car uh, to give them credit they are one of the first ones to come out along with the nissan leaf which you know i have both so you know if you have it you would love it if now that it's going to be strictly uh used uh always go for the bigger battery in my opinion always go the more ev range you have the better the better it is it's always great it's always good once you get used to it it's great uh, and and it's the the man the battery management it's great uh and it's 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 really a fantastic fantastically designed car the seating the infotainment the the screen uh, the Apple CarPlay uh, it's really has the front uh, dash here uh, you know the the instrument cluster it's really very nice very clear very clean very good very very good car I hope to keep this car for as many years as it will drive I will hand it into my older son who's waiting in the wings for it so um, I would say <laughs> To buy a car like this second hand uh, you know with this amount of miles you can get it for uh, I don't know 16 17 thousand dollars maybe 18 thousand dollars which is a great great value at this point with these miles and whatever but you can find great deals there's many of them many many of them available a lot of them were sold so as they come off leases and financing and whatever you can find many much much inventory in the united states in europe is with the, it's, it's a little different but in the united states you can find so many of them so if i did not I, obviously i did not cover something i can you know nitpick another one the visibility is not that great front and back unlike the leaf i always compare that but it's great car if I didn't cover something, let me know, guys. I'd love, love, love to uh, answer any question. Meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Help me change the world one electric at a time. And please shop on my electric Israeli fashion uh, uh, shop. All right. See you tomorrow, guys.